All right, baby. Let's ride. If you ever go out riding or heck even driving outside of Metro Manila, particularly in the northern parts of Luzon, there's something that you should keep in mind. Now, I don't know about Visayas, but I think they also follow this in certain parts of Mindanao. But most definitely here in Luzon, they follow it in Benguet and the northern province memory serves. And I think also in Baguio. Well, maybe certain parts of Baguio. Maybe even in some other parts of northern Luzon. is particularly applicable if the people there see that you are from out of town from out of the province yeah bear in mind that people in those areas let their animals their livestock run free particularly the smaller ones like chickens dogs goats free range and all that and there'll be occasions where these animals will get on the road and if you happen to find yourself in the most unfortunate situation of having run over one well expect your wallet to cry out in pain cause man you'll be paying out quite a hefty sum of money indeed Particularly if you want to avoid being taken to the barangay, ha- barangay Hall or worse, to the nearest police station or precinct. Or even worse than that, yeah, there's something worse than being taken to the police station. Or even worse than that, if you want to avoid being assaulted with a bolo or a knife or any weapon for that matter. Now that last bit, that last one, I must admit, may sound a bit far-fetched, sound a bit on the incredulous side, and somewhat over-exaggerated, but mind you, I have heard stories of stories to that effect, so better safe than sorry, bear that, bear this in mind. Say for example, you run over a chicken a hen you'll not only be expected to pay for that one chicken you killed but the owners will also take into consideration the eggs that the chicken would have laid had it not been killed the chicks that would have hatched from those eggs the eggs the chicks would eventually lay when they mature and so on and so forth i think you get the idea so instead of just one chicken instead of just that one chicken you'll find yourself being charged for several generations of that chicken instead of say 200 pesos or 300 pesos or even 400 or 500 pesos you might have to pay up to 5,000 pesos or 6,000 pesos or maybe even more (laughs) yeah So you can just imagine how much you'd have to cough up if it was a goat or a pig that you had run over. (laughs) Heh, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy I know. And funny, same time. Not funny, haha, but... Funny, strange, and funny, exasperating. But what can you do? That's how it's done. That's how these people figure it. So be extra careful when you go riding or driving in those areas. Yeah. You can try to contest it of course, but... Mind you... You'll be basically a stranger in a strange place. You'll be basically all alone in enemy territory even if you have friends with you basically the same thing 
you're all strangers in enemy territory basically surrounded by by people you don't know and if the owners happen to know someone in a position of authority like say a counselor or a barangay captain or the mayor or a policeman you'll be in deep shit indeed man to coin a phrase you're basically fucked pardon my french <laughs> or worse they might not even bother going through all that trouble of squeezing all that money out of you and just take out their favorite attack or bolo if you refuse to pay up Yeah. <laughs> so bear that in mind. I can't say that enough. Bear this in mind when you go out riding outside of Metro Manila. Particularly in those areas that I mentioned. <laughs> yeah. Man, a 5,000 peso chicken. That's what? Around $100? And that's one for the record books to be sure. Particularly when you consider it's just your ordinary run of the mill chicken. Man, a 5,000 peso chicken. Can you imagine that? <laughs> yeah. So better safe than sorry and be always alert. Particularly, particularly for things that might run in the road. I mean, sometimes we forget about the animals, we are all only looking out for people crossing the road, but if you don't look out for these animals, you just might end up paying through the nose, man. Yeah. So, again, better safe than sorry, be on the alert be on the lookout particularly when you take the scenic route when you take the roads less traveled those lonely countryside roads man be extra careful be safe always be on the lookout be alert and your wallet will thank you for it yeah Better yet, just stick to the main thoroughfares, to the main highways. It's much safer that way, particularly for your wallet. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, keep on riding on, baby!